we, I think we, we should pay a little homage to mm. some of his career. You probably don't remember uh, the live mic very well, do you? A little bit. Don't a little bit. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We, I, I'm ancient. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly as old as... Um, no. Anyway, he, uh, yeah, I, I remember like the, in, in his one particular cupboard, and you, it was, it was, for a kid it was great because you could run around and climb up and break things and whatever else, but he had all of his shiny stage priest outfits, like the <laughs> Gold LeMay, like Elvis the Priest's kind of stuff um, hanging there. So, I mean, I remember stuff like that. Yeah, because that, that was really, and I mean, it's funny, like, your father had various stages in his career, and I think in each one of them, he did stuff that became hugely culturally significant and that mm. still resonates around today and that yeah. people still remember. So um, we, the live mic, I guess, was the first time he smashed into national consciousness. Yeah. And we have, a, we have a great clip of him in action here as Father Trendy. You're welcome, sister. Listen, see inside for the sing song. Take care. God bless. You're desperate, Father. <laughs> Don't worry. You know, in ways, we're motorbikes on the road to life. We've got to learn to take a firm grip on ourselves and at the same time, get a kick out of things. We've also got to make sure that we don't put too much juice in ourselves. You know, some men can't go into pubs without staying all night and filling up. In other words, they can't handle bars. <laughs> I love it, excellent. Uh, and, and then the, uh, probably the next incarnation that people would be aware of, which you, you, you did two older lads, you certainly remember Scrap Saturday. Mm. And that was, in a way, was that the, the, the thing that was kind of most about who, who Dermot was? Um, I think everything that you see him doing, there's, there's elements of Dermot in it. There's, there's bits of Ted we go, that is so Dermot. And there's bits of it when, with the trendy stuff. Because it was all, I mean, particularly with the, with the stuff that he wrote himself, was very much, you know, of his own imagination. That thing about the priest. And you have to remember as well, at the time it was quite dangerous. I mean, I remember hate mail coming yeah. into the house and stuff like that, because it was the time the church had a, a real position of authority. But the scrap stuff is, like, that was him and Jerry, and I think it was very much closest to his artistic sensibilities. And you got to see all of the stuff that he was interested in. Like, yeah, really wide because I, I actually, I, I listened to a lot of it over, over the last few days, and, like, I probably didn't get it at the time, mm. I was that bit younger. It's very intelligent and there's a lot in there and everything as well as the, like, what, like in a way, so, some of the things he did with that probably defined those people more than themselves in, in real life, like that he cut to the essence of who the people were and that's mm. how we remember them. I'm thinking in particular of uh, this example here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, faithful Lord. Oh, uh, You've wet yourself again. Oh, yeah, well, it's only a drop. I'm all right. Sit down, for God's sake. Right, what? I have something to say, and I want you to be the first to know it. Oh. 